This man has a strange disease. Whenever he wakes up, he becomes someone else. Sometimes he becomes a beautiful woman. Sometimes a handsome man. He even becomes an old lady, since he transforms every day. The first thing he does when he wakes up is to pick out his clothes. Then he measures his feet to find the right shoes, because he sometimes turns into a woman. So he had to get himself all sizes of underwear. His name is Jack. He's a furniture designer. The man with the glasses next to him was his only friend, Mike. When Mike first saw Jack as a middle-aged woman, he couldn't believe it. But the next day, when he saw Jack as a beautiful woman. He wanted Jack to be his girlfriend for the night. They started a furniture company together. Jack was in charge of designing at home. Mike was in charge of sales. One day Jack was looking for inspiration at a fellow furniture store when he met a beautiful girl named Anna. He fell in love at first sight, but his looks only lasted a day. There was no way he could fall in love. He had to disguise himself as a different customer every day. After three months, Jack knew Anna like the back of his hand, but he was a stranger to Anna. Jack accidentally realized that Anna loved her furniture designs, so he decided to use his talent to win Anna's heart. When he became a handsome man, he came to Anna's furniture store again. This time, after buying a chair, he invited Anna to dinner. Anna, of course, refused the invitation from a stranger. Jack had to confess that he'd been in love with her for a long time. He hoped she would give him a chance, because he looked more handsome today. Anna finally agreed to his invitation. Jack took her to his studio. When Anna found out that he was a furniture designer, she was instantly attracted to him. Anna asked him to meet her for lunch tomorrow. When he got home, Jack set a dozen alarm clocks. As long as he didn't sleep, he would be fine. He survived the first night with the anticipation of tomorrow. The next day, they met as promised. Listening to music, they realized they had similar interests. Their feelings for each other grew rapidly. Love carried Jack through the second night. On the third day, he took Anna to her mother's knitting store. She didn't recognize Jack because he hadn't said hello beforehand. After leaving the knitting store, Jack hadn't slept for three days. He knew he wouldn't last much longer, but he couldn't just disappear. So he finally asked Anna to meet him for breakfast tomorrow. On the subway home, Jack looked at Nana's picture to refresh himself, but he accidentally dozed off on the subway. When he woke up he realized he had become a middle-aged man. Man with a beard. He has a date tomorrow. That's bad. The next day. Both of them came to the date as scheduled, because of the way he looked. He didn't dare to recognize his girlfriend. He didn't answer Anna's phone calls, because his voice had changed. He could only watch his girlfriend walk away. The next day, Jack woke up as a girl. Then he asked Anna to have dinner with him after work as a customer. Then he took her straight to his studio. Anna went inside and realized it was all her boyfriend's furniture. Then Jack told her the truth. He said he was Jack, but Anna didn't believe him. She even thought the woman was a bit crazy. To make Anna believe him, Jack played the videos he'd recorded under different identities and told her details that only they knew. Anna couldn't accept it for a moment and walked out. But for the next few days, she couldn't stop thinking about Jack. Anna couldn't stand it anymore. So this night she knocked on Jack's door again. She decided to sleep next to Jack. She wanted to see if Jack would really become a different person when she woke up. The next day, she realized that the girl from last night had really become a boy. Anna was convinced that Jack's story was true, and she accepted Jack's transformation. Afterwards, no matter what Jack became every day, they would take pictures of him. On this day, Anna had to attend a party. She needed a date. But on this day, Jack turned into a middle-aged woman. The party had already started. Jack wanted to go back to sleep and become a boy again, but he couldn't because of his anxiety. And Anna was waiting anxiously for Jack to show up, but she waited for a long time without any result. Suddenly, a boy held Anna's hand and nodded his head. She knew it was Jack. A few days later, Jack took Anna to see her mother. Her mother knew about Jack's strange transformation. She was worried that Anna would mind what Jack looked like, but so far, she didn't seem to mind. But that day, Something unexpected happened. Jack asked her to guess which one was him. Anna couldn't recognize him in the crowd. At that moment, Anna felt a twinge of fear. Then Jack appeared as a stranger and startled Anna. Anna was angry, although she had accepted Jack, but she was uncomfortable with having to deal with strangers every day. In order to get rid of her fear, Anna had to come to Jack's house early in the morning. She wanted to see what he'd become today, but there was more to it than that. Anna's sister found pictures of Anna with many different men. She thought Anna was a loose woman. When her co-workers saw her hanging out with a lot of guys, they began to point fingers and talk about her behind her back. Anna suffered from all these rumors. She became a bit depressed and had to take medication to keep her going. After a few days, Jack suddenly asked Anna to marry him. Anna was even a little scared of Jack's proposal, because she was under a lot of pressure. If she married him, she didn't know how to explain all this to her family. In the end, Jack's proposal failed. Jack's mom told Jack that your father had the same disease. At first, I was just as stressed as Anna, but when your father left and I saw less of him, I felt better. Jack seemed to understand something. So that night, Jack broke up with Anna, because he didn't want to put Anna through this again. The next day Jack left the city. In the two years after Jack's departure, Anna's life was peaceful. Her stress level was much lower, but she still thought about Jack once in a while. When she looked at the chair Jack had designed, she couldn't help it anymore. The memories of the two of them are still fresh in her mind. As time passed, the pain of the breakup grew. Anna realized that being away from Jack was worse than being sick. That day, her boss asked Anna to find a customized chair. She took one look at it and recognized it as Jack's design. When she saw where the samples were shipped, she realized Jack had gone to the Czech Republic. A few days later, 
Anna knocked on a door on a check street. A boy answered the door. Anna called out his name, but Jack wouldn't admit he was Jack. When she saw the furniture that Jack had designed, she was sure it was Jack. They hugged each other and cried, and they lived happily ever after. Don't say this to me.